Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Magic Trick. Today we are doing the Excel Trick Auto Spell Check. Okay, so what is an Auto Spell Check? Why we use Auto Spell Check in uh, Excel? Excel include the spelling check that can use to group that text. Okay, so let's suppose you're writing something in Excel and uh, you you don't know it's a correct or not. Okay, so you need to check again and again its spelling correct you because you're writing something. So sometimes, uh, we, uh, so this is my Excel. Sometimes I'm, uh, so we are writing something, and we don't know the correct uh, spelling, and we wrongly uh, it's uh, it's a wrong one. Information is not correct. Okay. So if I'm writing the yes, and let's suppose yes is not correct. So yes spelling is by yes. So I want some trigger here. Okay. Uh, from the Excel. Whenever I'm writing a wrong, they will be triggered. It's like the, whenever we are writing a, a, any mail, okay, they will be automatically uh, highlight with the red color, okay. So same I want uh, in this uh, Excel, okay. Whenever I'm writing in this worksheet, they automatically highlight it uh, with the colors or something else, okay. Uh, so uh, we have uh, that VB code. We are I'm using here VB code. Uh, so you need to write a VB code uh, here. It's a simple code. It's not the uh, very big code. Uh, you learn it. Okay, it's a very simple code. Anyone can write it. Okay, uh, read on the Excel. You need to click here on the sheet tabs. Right click here, then view code. Okay, when you click on the view code, one VB editor will be open here. Now see here. This is my VB editor. Okay. Uh, in the VB editor, in the above, you can see here the journal. In, uh, in the journal, you need to select here worksheet because I'm putting the work, uh, macro for the worksheet and uh, I'm putting the worksheet function for the change. Okay, whenever I'm adding something here, so I'm deleting the that previous people. Okay, then uh, whenever I'm change anything, whenever I'm write anything, they can check uh, spelling. Okay. That's the reason I'm selecting the worksheet and change. Now uh, you need to write here if okay if application dot okay if application dot check spell check spelling okay check spelling. Uh, in the bracket, you need to write here target. Target means your value. Whatever you are writing, that is your target. Target dot value is equal to false. Okay. Then, if target value is equal to false, that means it's not true. Okay. Then, what they do? Target. So we need to target dot font dot color. Is equal to RGB RGB red. Okay, that I want. Else target dot font dot color is equal to RGB black. So it's a normal one, uh, okay. RGB black. RGB. Okay, RGB black. Uh, so this is my code, okay. Uh, so let's suppose I'm writing something here. I'm writing here BMCK, okay. Sorry, uh, over to write here and if because I'm just starting with the if now my program will be end with the if. Now if I'm writing the B and C K, now see here it's a black. If I'm writing the B and C K, it's a black one. Okay. Now if I write R D red, R D nothing. If I writing a red. Okay, if I write here in information, if I write here in for information. Okay, so whenever you are writing uh, wrong, okay, 
ऑटोमेटिकली हाईलाइट ओके वैल्यू से करेक्ट ओके एंड ऑल्सो द नेम्स इफ यू आर राइटिंग एनी नेम्स सौरभ इट्स अ करेक्ट बिकॉज इट डज नो द सौरभ स्पेलिंग ओके सो नेम दैट प्लेस ओके दैट विल बी वैल्यू ओके बिकॉज दिस इज अ प्लेस ओके If you're writing anything in the English keyword, that uh, the macro will be highlight that one. Okay, so I'm right. Y S right at the end, and the single is because we can't check the spelling here. But for the Y S, yes, they can. Okay, so this is macro. It's very useful because uh, you doesn't uh, need to go again and again into the F7 key because F7 key is for the uh for spell check because you don't need to go to the again to spell check here okay uh you can write here one code it's a sim very simple code i will paste it in in description you need to write uh this code only in the view uh in the sheet and they automatically highlight everything whenever you're writing the uh, wrong uh, name or wrong information or wrong name anything okay in the excel so it's very useful code Uh, when you are uh, using uh, the worksheet uh, frequently and you are typing something, okay. Thank you so much, guys, for today's session. Please uh, like and subscribe my channel, Shamajika Gyan. Thank you.